Hello and welcome to First Look, my name is Tom and today we are checking out the demo for Rotwood. This comes from the makers of Don't Starve. Very excited to check out this dungeon crawler hack and slash game. From what I, it also has online play. Um, set out and explore. Uh, from what I can tell, this looks a lot like uh, Cult of the Lamb in a way. So I'm, I'm curious because I love that game. Sure, make a new character. Uh, species, we're going to be a cat, right? A cat named Phil. Sure. I don't really care too much about how we... Oh, well, well actually. Maybe that. Body. I guess we'll go like this. Sure. Oh, you can, like, really, really do them up. Oh. Interesting. Okay. We're good. We're going to go in. We're going to see how this plays. I'm unsure when this game's going to go into early access. They haven't really made any announcements yet. But yeah, you can see here, this kind of this kind of gives me Cult of the Lamb vibes right out of the gate. Uh, thank goodness you're here, or you're on your feet. What hit us? Thank goodness you're on your feet again. <laughs> that was a real-life boss rot. Smacked us down. A mother treak. Be exact. Oh, Hunter, what a terrible start to our expedition. Now half of our crew are lost in the forest, and it's all my fault. It's gonna be okay. Who's missing? Berna, the armor, Hamish, the blacksmiths. We're gonna have to find them, obviously. Toot. Toot is out there, too. But I trust him to hold his own. The other two wouldn't stand a chance against the rots in these woods. I need you to comb the forest and search for them. Just make sure... Or just make it as far as you can. Okay. Skip controls explainer. No sense of wasting time. We're not gonna, we're not, I'm not worried about it. We're just gonna roll in. This is cool looking, isn't it? We're just gonna roll into this. It's a first look video, guys. I'm not, I, if I can skip tutorials and just kind of figure it out as I go. So there's a little action wheel. Interesting. That'll be probably useful when you're playing uh, with friends, I uh, hit. There's a ground smash. Okay, good to know. Smash, smash, smash. There's our dodge. Oh, I didn't dodge fast enough. Watch me die to the first enemies because I'm a, I'm a bonehead and I did not do the tutorial. Ah, there we go. We did not die. But what are you? And power up straight to business when you enter a new clearing gain 30 percent run speed for 30 seconds or iron brew refill your potion each time you drink heal an additional 50 percent in shield um you know what i'll take the run speed fine what is this oh boy didn't hit that that is a bomb okay we're learning <laughs> that is a bomb So we're going to be able to, you build a, the point is to build a safe haven in this, right? So we're going to be working on that eventually. What's this guy going to do? He's spitting at me. Shooting out of his nose. Oh, they're coming out of, they're coming out of the trees. We got a few different attacks. That's a nice one. Ash. Okay, we're and now we're getting the hang of the combat. What is this? This looks cool. Pew pew. Every three attacks, shoot a projectile. It deals half your weapon's damage. Or post kill zoomies. You kill an enemy. Game. Nah, we've already got some run speed. Let's take this thing. Go in here. That's cool. So every three attacks, we're gonna fire off that stuff. I blow these up it'll kill the rots oh yeah okay that's that's efficient right there that's what we're looking for it does like 500 damage when you die remove this power and heal 50 percent max health oh that's kind of nice you dodge gain run speed we'll take this that way we can make sure that we probably get a little bit further into the game 
right? You can make, make it a little bit further. We want to see how far we can go in this first ever run. If you want to see more games like Rotwood or more Rotwood, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We play a lot of really, really cool rogue, roguelike games, dungeon crawlers on this channel. But where's my smash? It's kind of a nice attack too. Come here. There it is. Take a cornerstone. So that's going to be probably for um, a core stone, not a cornerstone. That's likely going to be for building in the haven when we get there. Okay, who are you? Doc Hoggins. Goodness gracious, is that a customer? He's a snake. Greetings and salutations, my fine mammal friend. Welcome to Rotwood. Boy, howdy. Have I ever got a business proposition for you? I could use a bit of a pick-me-up. Vigor. Now wait just a moment. I barely smell any tephra on you. Yeah, I don't... Oh yeah, I'm a bit broke. Yeah, I've only got a little bit. Awkward predicament we're in. <laughs> I can't show you the wonder of Hoggins brand health potions without the appropriate compensation. Such is the fickle nature of the market, I suppose. You come back. Oh yeah. Well, waste of time. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Ooh. I do not have the money for a potion from him. I wonder how far we're going to be able to... Oh, here we go. Greater Yamo, Menace of the Woods. Here we go. What's this guy going to do to me? Got a big smash. I also have a smash. That hit for 300 damage. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh. Gotta time those dashes right. Combo? I think combos are the are the key to the combat here, guys. Ooh, I got smacked hard. I want to say that that's the key. I think we're doing pretty pretty darn good against this dude. There he goes. Oh, we kicked his butt. Now what do we get? Best, uh, the best defense every 10 strikes gain a shield segment. Wind up every fifth attack deals 200% damage. I like that. Or enchantee. Once per clearing, when you kill an enemy, it will return to life as a charmed ally. We'll take this. The 500% or whatever it was. 200%. Oh, okay. We're going through the... We're a little bit further into the forest. I imagine we're going to find one of our friends soon. That would be my guess. That's my main goal here, is to see if we can find a friendo. That's going to kill all of them. That's nice. Come on down. Come here. Are they that smart that they actually ran away from me? No way. And they stack! That's not it. And now I have another big dude. Oh boy. Well, I don't wanna, I, I, I don't wanna fight another big guy. He's a little bit smaller than the last big guy though. Realistically, just a tiny bit. Oh wow. This is, this is gonna be harder than the actual boss fight that I just did. I think he hits the... I think he actually smacks the, the rots. We're good. I like the I like the power-ups that we've chosen here. Very cool. Take another core stone. Question mark. Take this path. This has got to be one of our friends. Hee hee hee, I'm feeling generous. I'll upgrade a random power for free. 
All it will cost is a slice of your finger. <laughs> what? Except random power, upgrade. Okay. Yeah, so I have no health. What you gonna do, though? Drink a potion? So we got more run speed. Oh, you upgraded the one thing I really don't care about. I'm just curious to see what, how far how far this is going to let us go. Because it, the combat reminds me an awful lot of um, Cult of the Lamb, I'm pretty comfortable with it overall. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like it's too uh, difficult. It's definitely not going to let us go until we... You know, until we uh, die and then take us to the to the base, I imagine. We're facing multiple waves. It looks very nice, though. Ooh, that was nice. Whatever attack that was. More. These guys don't stand a chance. be the last guy. Big combos. Big combos for him. You get another power-up. So enchant is interesting. Uh, multiply your damage based on your run speed modifier. I think we take that. That's a nice power-up. We're going to take another question mark. Oh, we got this guy again. Well, I I still don't have enough money for a potion. I'm one dollar shy. A little bit low on Tefra. Now, as I was saying last time, you seem like one savvy mammal. Hold your horses. Did you say you're still broke? <laughs> How's that possible? I mean, no hard feelings. Why don't you go give some monsters the what for? Oh. See how I do. Ata. Oh man. Going this way? We have a damage modifier bonus. Um, we have run speed, extra run speed when we come into the... Into the arena, right? I don't know what that is. We're gonna have enough to buy a potion after this. Well, that's good. I just want to find one of our buddies that we're supposed to be looking for. More power. Oh, jeez. That was rude. Anything you break in the environment shatters into eight projectiles, dealing 200 damage apiece. When you enter a new clearing, gain 25% damage. That's interesting. Take that. We'll take, we, we have no choice but to take this question mark again. It's just a fight. Dang it. But we are gonna... We are... Oh, this is a different enemy. Never seen him before. That's not nice. Yeah, now we're... Okay, this guy might actually kill me. There's another... No, nah, okay. Okay. No, no, no. No. Let's get him out of here. There he goes. That's it. All right. Now we have enough for potions. Uh, when you dodge, drop an orb that applies to charge. Small radius. Order in the court deals 100 damage for each consecutive hit. I think we take that. And let's go up here. This looks like a health thing, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe if we survive this, we get some health. But for each consecutive hit, we're going to deal extra damage, so we should be killing dudes, like, really, really fast. That was quick. 
What is this? Oh, it's money. Well, that's okay, I guess. Give us a shot. And if you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I may have already said that, but if you're still here, thank you so much for being here. I can't afford to give him a finger. Holds out a hand offering a gift. Ooh, thanks. Oh, he gave me static charge, and he didn't take a finger. So we meet again. Okay. This is the potion. Let's go here. This is the shopkeep. It is. I can finally afford to buy it. Yes. Spend the Tephra. Refill potion. Thank you. I have tons of money now. Get, I could buy another one. Oh, you can only buy one per shop. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow, we're almost we're almost through this. Are we through it? We may have made it. Mother Treak. Oh, okay, this is this is what they mentioned at the beginning. Mother Treak. This is the real boss. Okay, now, now the real fight starts. But we're doing good damage. We're, we're, we're doing pretty decent. I think I have to kill all the all the minions first. It'd be really cool if we beat this. Okay, they're gonna be back to doing regular attacks, I guess. Oh god, no, don't do that. Oh wow, that's coming fast. Yeah, they aren't messing around. Swiping at me? I haven't even come close to killing it. Wow. We're, we're, we're talking like 50%. Not even. I don't know if we're going to beat it. In which case, I don't think I'll get to see the haven that we're supposed to be building. I think we have to beat this boss, but I don't know if there's any meta progress, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, God. I have to get so close. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Yep. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, I had another one of these. I had a... 50% health. Let's beat them up. Do the best you can. Oh, oh, what's this? How is this the first boss? This is insane. Like, this is a crazy boss fight. There's no way I'm supposed to beat this. There's just no way. Holy crap. <laughs> what? <laughs> you put up a good fight. Yeah, I literally made it to the to the boss. What happens now? So, force exploration. Unlock, focus, hit powers. Get more bang for your buck. Continue. Return to town. Yeah, see, I was never in the town. We just made it, like, super far... Even though I never even had the town. So then you then we're gonna have the town. <laughs> and here's the town building aspect of it. Right? Um now what do we do? Yeah, we've actually got a town here. Two. There's two. Hey, how'd you do, Hunter? I'm glad this demo gave me a chance to meet you. I'm Toot, the Battle Master. Came on this expedition to give some challenges and toughen you up, but uh, looks like those game systems haven't been implemented yet. In the meantime, come by and chat if you want some. Okay, so that's like, uh, they haven't put the meta progress in the game yet. So it's, it's going to be pretty bare bones, I think, for now. Can't believe you made it so deep in the forest so fast. Imagine that, a rookie foxtail hunter taking on a boss rot head-to-head. -head. The mother treak is lumber waiting to happen. So I think we do have to beat them? 
Customize your character? Nah. Well, let's talk again. First pop quiz. Tell me what you know about dodging. Do it with A. Acceptable. Now look. You just charge into a hunt weapon swing and you'll get knocked on your tail. Instead, watch your foes for clues. Okay, well that's fine. We've been, we were doing fine. Watch them close. Oh, wait. Here, have a treat. Class dismissed. Well, I don't even know what those are for. We don't even know what that's for yet. Right? This looks like it's going to be quite the base, though, eventually. Alright, well, I don't think there's much more we can do at the moment. I keep flying over the woods. I haven't seen Hamish anywhere. So that's something we're going to have to do. We're just going to have to find them, head out. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let I me mean, know what you think of this one. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm interested to see how far the base goes in this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.